with Ryan Bowen and, uh, you know, with the whole beef with uh, East versus West, with, with per se, you know, Angan and all. How mm. is that affecting you, bro? You know, because, uh, you know, I heard a lot of people just kind of bringing that up and, you know, it kind of puts you in an awkward, you know, position. You know, you're, you're really close with uh, Ryan, obviously, for all these years, also a training mm. partner. And you're also part of uh, AWE. You're, 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 you're the, the champion over there and all. So um, what, uh, you know, how is that all playing out for you? Is, is it an awkward situation? No, it, it hasn't been. I mean, I've been to East versus West and King of the Table. I think um, Don and, and Angan are obviously, you know, clever enough and mature enough to realise that Ryan, as much as I'm friends with him and, you know, he's my boy, he's, we are separate, you know, uh, we have separate opinions and, you know, I've made it clear in the past that, like, I don't get involved with the promoter end of things. I'm point and shoot, you know, I mean, you, you've had an event, you've known me for uh, for years now. It's like, just give me an opponent and, and that's where I go. I'm just, I'm just a talent man. I just want to turn up and arm wrestle. So I, I don't get involved. I don't hold an opinion. Um, I don't think it's kind of worth that because there are so many like different facets to running a promotion, as you know, that I have nothing to do with. It's just, I just turn up and, and try and wreck the guy in front of me. That's, um, you know, lots of things in the background and lots of different stories that overlap. So I, I just stay out of it, man. Now, let me ask you this, bro. What if you get offered a contract, you know, with, uh, you know, East versus West or, you know, mm -hmm. kick a table. I don't know how they, you know, it's it's grouped under under one and all. But uh, what yeah. happens if you get contracted in there? Would you accept that contract if you weren't able to compete in AWE anymore? Look, I think the thing with AWE, it's it's less about AWE and more about who is there to offer me to pull. So before the contracts uh, were coming into place. There wasn't really like the, the the list was already kind of small for people in my weight class or you know kind of people around me that would be kind of worth my time unless we're really getting some Europeans over and stuff like that. But now the contracts are in place, it kind of has just come down to well, there's no one really that and a, a different promotion could offer me really. Um, you know, like Knuckles Up is cool. But that's in that's in December. Um, even outside of that, like the US, I've got Marcio Pavlo right-handed because we haven't had a right-handed match, potentially chance. But beyond those three, there's no American that's kind of, you know, e even remotely close to my weight class that's going to be kind of worth it, if you know what I mean. Like, I, I do want to bring up one thing is uh, we're supposed to have that Derek Smith match. And, uh, you know, the winner, we all know, was going to get Dave Chafee and uh, Derek yeah, yeah. back out and all. Is that something, a match that you would look to uh, to get somewhere else now? Yeah, potentially. Um, I think when, when it's overseas, typically I like to either choose interesting matches or matches that are um, ranked above me, but in my weight class. and and. King of the Table and East vs. West certainly have that talent pool readily available to them. Um, so, look, if it's something that they thought was going to be an interesting match that, you know, would sell pay-per-views, I'm, I'm all for it. He's way out of my weight class, but I think it could be interesting. The other one that I know you really wanted, and uh, you know, was the the redemption match with uh, Mike Aiello. And, uh, you know, Mike's got... Uh, yeah. you know, trying to make the comeback and, you know, he's got some personal issues going on as of right now. Mm -hmm. um, is that something that we still could get to see sometime soon or? Yeah. 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 I think so. Um, like I said, we, we've had some conversations and some couple of things in the works, so I can't say too much, but um, Micah Yellow has definitely been uh, a source of interest for a couple of people that might be how I get to New York, if that's uh, going to come to fruition, but. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I think definitely, so. <laughs> I, I definitely want to see Mike Aiello back, man. Uh, you know, he's one of those big characters and uh, superstars of our sport. I kind of we mm. haven't really seen him much in the last couple of years. You know, I I, I threw him in mm. uh, Oklahoma. We had him at the Fatal Four and all, but that was right, right when he was having the issues with his back, and you know, he had to go for that surgery right after that. Yeah. So, 
I, I really want to yeah. see a healthy, uh, strong Mike Aiello come back because he definitely yeah, is. Yeah, same. Sport. Same. Like, as well, I think it was good that he's had a little bit more time. Like, the it was meant to be Mike Aiello at East First West 8. Um, seven? No, 9. I was on 9. I Sorry, I'm getting messed up. No, no, I was on 8. I was on 8, then they had 9 a month later, and they got 10 coming up. Sorry. Um but he was only seven months post surgery, and they usually recommend a year. So if we can get this popping off in December, hopefully, um, that'll give him not quite a year, but a lot closer to. So, yeah. Hmm. Well, that would be a that'd be a great one. I hope I hope we get to see that one finally because I yeah, know you did that redemption match and all when he first pulled you, you were you were brand new into the sport, and that was yeah. just crazy that you even took that match, bro. Then that, that well, was. That, that was a replacement match. It was meant to be Paul Lynn and I at the time because, and then Paul Lynn got injured and then they gave like two weeks notice and and Mike was like, yeah, I'm going to be there anyway for the, because uh, it was a Bajan, um, Travis Bajan event. So he was already going. So it was like, yeah, why don't you just pull Lachlan? So, Bro, that's, you just said it, man. Like, I know you guys are different weight classes, but I think I'd like to see that one also. Paul Lynn versus you match bro yeah we i mean we were meant to have some after table at uh east first west he did ask for it but i got busy with everyone else so i, I didn't get to pull him but um yeah look there's there's lots of interesting things but i kind of think there's a couple of matches that if i win which probably will will preclude that from ever happening it's like oh so just beating guys who are above him and yeah different levels yeah i got you mm. 